Hi, I'm Rita Wilkins, also known as the Downsizing Designer. So welcome back to my weekly five in five series where I share five quick tips in just five minutes on decluttering your life and simplifying your life. So today we're going to have some fun. I want to share a tradition with you that I've had for a number of years and that I have never really liked New Year's Eve. So every New Year's Eve for the last number of years, I get dressed up and I get a glass of champagne and I go out and clean my garage. And the reason this works is because when you make something fun out of a dreaded chore, it really isn't hard at all. So maybe you'll join me in my tradition um, and hopefully that works for you too. So if you join me in tackling one of the biggest culprits, um, clutter culprits, it's the garage and the storage unit. Um, we often dream of using our garage just for the essentials. You know, that's the car, it's the lawnmower and maybe a snowblower. Um, but so often it becomes quickly cluttered um, because it becomes a holding zone for all those things you don't know what to do with. So let's have some fun um, while breaking that cycle of using your garage as a catch-all. So my first tip is seasonal clutter. So if your garage is overflowing with seasonal items and when you need something it's just buried underneath all the clutter, um, why don't you try this? Designate bins um, for each season, label them well, and then um, each season, just change them out and rotate them. An example of that would be your summer, you know, summer is over. So you have all your summer um, things. It could be your garden tools and garden gloves and all of that. Um, put them in a, be a bin and then change them out for things like the snow melt or things that are appropriate more for the, for the next season. Um, when you make your garage more functional like that, you're, it, be it becomes much more functional year round. So my second tip is zone it to own it. Um, so you're going to create functional spaces in your garage and a garage that's not organized makes it very difficult um, to find what you need. So if you try this and divide your garage into actual zones um, based on the purpose and, and its use or its activity. An example of that would be one zone is for garden tools and supplies and another zone is for sports equipment. Um, so grouping the items by use makes it easier and quicker to find. And when you're looking for them, you're, it's going to be just much easier. So think of it as creating little stations for um, so that you can find things. And my third tip is purge and power through. So clutter creep is a real thing. And whether it's in your home or in your garage, when clutter creeps into your garage, it leaves no room for the essentials. How many people do you know that cannot park their car in their garage because it's so full? So it leaves no room for those things that are essentials, um, like your car or like your lawnmower. Um, so try this. Commit to a regular purge once a month, maybe spend 20 minutes, and just toss out anything that's broken, unused, or unneeded. This way, clutter never really has a chance to build up. And also, make it fun. Turn on that music, um, get a glass of wine, and um, just treat yourself to something special because it's, it's not a big deal, but when you make it fun, it's just easier. So purging doesn't just clear your garage, it also clears your mind. And tip number four is the one year purge. Um, so use it or lose it. So pick a day of the year. Um, and for me, it's always been that New Year's Eve. Um, the garage doesn't, um, you know, it often becomes the repository for just in case items. So just in case you might need it, you know, it's that extra wheelbarrow um, that you bought at a garage sale or the used tires that you have replaced with new tires. Try this. Um, if you haven't used an item in one year, just let it go. Sell it, donate it, dispose of it. And um, all those things that you've been gathering, um, it's that old exercise bike or the rusty tools. And think of this process as a curation process um, by keeping only what you use and what matters to you. And the last tip is no dumping allowed. So if you have to put a sign up, garages frequently become that catch-all dumping ground for just about anything that doesn't have a home. If you put a sign up, it might be a little reminder for not just you, but for your family. So set strict rules about what is going into the garage, what belongs there and what doesn't. So this is a really important tip because if something doesn't serve the garage's designated purpose, um, which is to store cars and tools and lawnmowers and snowblowers um, here in that area, period. 
So set the boundaries now and prevent that clutter buildup later on. So there you have it. Those are my five tips in five minutes um, that will keep your garage um, clutter-free and functional. And don't forget to have fun. It makes that so much easier.